Welcome back, Dead Eyes and Ghost Beaters. And if you're new to the channel, I am Old Head Gaming, and our beloved Evil Dead the game will turn a mighty one years old on Saturday, May the 13th, 10 days from now. And if we're gonna see anything from an anniversary update, I'll probably start hearing something in the next couple of days. Now, honestly speaking, we probably have to hear either Friday. Monday, Tuesday, somewhere in that ballpark, something about the anniversary update to be having one, and this could go one of three ways. Now, the first way, obviously, is nothing happens. They basically say the game of the year update is going to cover both of them, and that's it. But they didn't mention the anniversary at all when the game of the year update dropped last month, so I'm still kind of inclined to believe that this isn't covering the anniversary, so that means it will probably go one of two ways, and it could drop anywhere from probably... May the 11th, that Thursday, to even the, up to the following Wednesday, May the 17th afterwards. Now, because the anniversary's on the weekend, they could go either way in that window to drop the update. Now, it could go the first way, which is probably the most likely. And it's probably just a small little update because they did just do that massive game of the year update. And it would be something like a mission probably, which they did talk about missions recently in a couple of interviews. How there's a couple more on the way. Or it could be a couple of skins. Or it could be a mission that leads to you unlocking skins, which would be actually a nice little compromise. You play the mission, you got some single player content, and then you have some new skins for your characters. That's the first way, probably the most likely way it will go. On the other hand, Saber does have an absolute opportunity to blow this thing wide open and kind of show that brand new Steam group that there is a lot of cool stuff coming in year two. And what better way to kick off the year than doing something while like dropping a freaking map. We haven't gotten one in the entire first year of the game. We've been pretty much on the same two since launch. And the third one that was supposed to be at launch that dropped late for the Army of Darkness update in Castle Kandar leaves us with three for the entire year. We definitely were told there will be more maps, that they will be free to everyone. And it makes complete sense to kick off year two with a brand new map. You could basically do it from the 11th for the full week where it's the higher pick we need to play on a new map get the experience whatever they have in mind whether it's jacksonville whether it's elk grove whether it's future wasteland because they've already said they want to explore that so all of that makes a ton of sense now the other way they could go that would be pretty massive too would to be drop a free character now we did get one free demon back with the 2013 update almost eight months ago when we got Plaguebringer. So I think if they do a demon, Abomination makes a lot of sense. When I heard initially about what was supposed to be on the 2013 update, David and Mia Allen were there, but Abomination was not. Instead, we got Plaguebringer for free, and I have a feeling that she just wasn't ready on time, and it would make complete sense just to drop Abomination, giving us our second demon in like three weeks, which would be awesome for the demon community. Now, here's the thing. From what I've heard, they're not really interested in revisiting Evil Dead 2013 again. So that would make complete sense to kind of close off that by dropping her for free. On the other hand, they could do the most anticipated survivor of all, and that would be Chet Kaminsky. Ted's been talking about him on Twitter. We've kind of had some veiled hints that he could be coming sooner rather than later. And of course, Bruce confirmed him almost a year ago. It does make sense they could go with one of those two. On the other hand, they could just go for broke and drop a map and one of the two characters and completely melt our minds. Will that happen? I don't think so. I do think a big one could be possible. I think there is very little chance that we would get a map and a character. As much as I would absolutely love it and would be very appreciative to our friends over at Saber. Now, tell me what you think. Do you think we're going to get nothing? Do you think we have some good stuff coming? Do you think it'll be a little bit here? A little smackle? I want to hear your thoughts as always. Thanks for watching and later, mates.